Morning, folks. Day soap is brought to, brought to us by way of Razor Rock. This one here is the Dead Sea. As you can tell, if you're unfamiliar with this one here, it's a pretty large container. Glass uh, can, a jar, a metal lid, and one of the things I like about this one here is it kind of gives you an idea of what the scent is like right here. And I know it's kind of tiny print, but it does say uh, lemon, rosemary, canvas, uh, saffron, and sandalwood. And like I say, all of that is right there in that blue ribbon right through there. And uh, eight, I think, 0. 0.4, 8.5 ounces. That's what it looks like there on the inside. I guess you might consider it a uh, uh, traditional Italian type soap. And um, um, I've got more than one of these. Yes, this scent is really nice. And if you had to categorize it, um, it might, somebody might consider it a cologne type scent. Uh, it does smell really nice. As soon as you open the lid, scent rolls out. So it's at least a medium on the scent strength, at least per my nose. And I've got it whipped up here with a Simpson brush here, synthetic knot. This one here is a T1. If I got this figured out right, the T1, uh, 23 millimeter synthetic knot, then a T2 would be a 24 millimeter knot, and then the T3's got a 26 millimeter knot. I think that's how all that works out, but that's what it looks like there on the back side also. And there's the bottom. Got it whipped up here in a fine accoutrements lathering bowl. It is wet, just, it's pretty close to almost drippy. It's, it's fairly wet. And just right there, I the scent just rolls right on out of there. It's just a fantastic scent. That's the reason why I got more than one. Uh, to me, I think it's a fantastic buy. Um, what, 8.5 ounces, and I think the going price is 20 bucks. So that's an excellent buy in my books. Razor of the day. Blade I'm using is uh, going to be the Lord Cool. It's the packaging that it comes in. And... This is how it's wrapped, this, and this wrapping is fairly thick. Uh, pretty nice presentation, in my opinion. And here's the Icon slant, or X3 slant, I think that's how the wording goes. <laughs> this is what it looks like. For those to shave under the nose, this might be a pretty nice one because there is no overhang. Had no problems getting the blade to line up just like uh, expected. And I get, yep, there we go. That's what the bottom of the handle looks like. And all this is in the satin presentation, if you will. And I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning. Go ahead and wet the face and get going here. Oh, I got the uh, aftershave also. I didn't leave that out, didn't I? I got the matching aftershave. And it comes in the same kind of, uh, I guess you might say, metal cap also. For those, if it matters any. Uh, to me, this... Uh, <laughs> Like I said, this soap is really nice. There's another one, I think, Santa Maria. Uh, that one there, uh, basically same kind of presentation, same kind of soap base, of course, different scent, but, uh, and I have an extra one of those also. I really like this soap. This soap is just fantastic. I know this soap base that is, uh, it may not suit everybody, but for me, uh, I really do like it. And plus the scents are really pleasant also. Phoenix Otter Sending Accoutrements Ice Cube, and uh, yeah, that's what's left of it there. It almost uh, kind of makes me wonder what this would look like if you had a little bit of a light underneath it. Kind of give it a glow. Probably look pretty cool. Especially, you know, with the labeling right there. Day's Friday. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> made it to the end of the week. Well, I tell you, we had a little bit of rain yesterday, and uh, there for a while I was getting kind of, uh, typically when a storm rolls through, it is during the night, not necessarily during the day. And yesterday it was, I guess, right around lunch maybe, or 11, 11 to 12? No, it was around 11 o'clock, yes, before lunch even. So the wind really picked up quite a bit uh, to the point where it made, and it was consistent. It just wasn't a wind gust. It was consistent, making you think that something was coming through the area. 
wasn't a tornado, but it was a pretty strong storm that was rolling through wind wise. And uh, it was enough that you know that you have, it was, you can definitely hear it inside the house. Nothing major happened, and just you know what limbs uh, were kind of already in a bad way. They were already they came down, and leaves were everywhere, and all that sort of thing. But yeah, there for a while, <laughs> it's like, what is going on? <laughs> no, you know there was no alerts were going off or anything quite like that. So I think it was just you know just strong wind moving through the area along with the rain. It was a interesting moment because I hadn't had that in a while. I mean, the past few days when it has rained, you get a little bit of thunder, a little bit of lightning, but not a whole lot going on. And uh, I guess you might say light, steady rain for the most part. But man, this soap does smell good. This is a really nice scent. But like I said, I know for some folks, the, this kind of soap base won't work well for everybody. As it goes for the razor itself, if this is the first time you've seen the Icon Slant X3, I've got a link down below if you want to check it out. They have their own website, and they also sell razors through maggots if you want to go that direction. Because in other words, you're shipping, and uh, when you take that in consideration, and you're going to buy some soap and the razor, maybe blaze, or whatever the case might be, uh, yeah, you want to try to minimize the cost of your uh, shipping. But this particular shaver right here, I would consider it, I don't know that I would consider it medium, maybe close, maybe. Uh, it's a pretty easy going shaver. In my opinion, it, most people probably wouldn't find a problem using it on a daily basis. Now, Icon offers another razor, it's called Tech. That one there, don't let the name deceive you. Don't think Gillette Tech and Icon Tech is the same thing that they're gonna shave the same way because they're polar opposites. <laughs> the high contact is pretty aggressive, more aggressive than this, noticeably. <laughs> I was really surprised, like, wow, that's, that's a huge difference. This one here, you can feel the blade just a little bit, enough to let you know that it's there. But a pretty easy shaver in my books. A nice slant razor. Now, if you um, are trying to work on a budget and maybe you just want the head, uh, try to be patient and wait till one of the blemish uh, heads come into uh, uh, stock and get the head that way. In other words, you got plenty of handles, don't want the handle, just looking for the head. They do sell them by, you know, not only by the head, if you will, <laughs> but they'll also, uh, they'll, they sell blemished ones from time to time. And a blemished uh, head will run you about 25 bucks, I think. So it's something to consider if you're looking to get the most bang for the buck. I did, that's how I got started with this. It was, uh, I got their blemish, one of their blemish heads. And the only thing I could really tell that was, uh, that would consider a blemish. In other words, it wasn't a flaw in the design, not to, you know, not to go that direction, as opposed to looking at it physically. In other words, uh, the coating raw off or something like that. The only thing I could see on the threads, they were not looking smooth. It looked like maybe a few threads had some flat spots on them or something like that. They weren't quite right. Didn't notice it when you, you know, go to snug it up. Couldn't tell, couldn't feel anything in the handle when you go to tighten it up. Nothing like that. It worked. Well, matter of fact, nobody will ever notice it. Doesn't affect the shape at all. But those threads, you could tell they were not quite, you know, probably to their expectations, to their standards. So they were selling that as a blemish and 25 bucks, that's a heck of a buy. I mean, when you're looking at the whole razor with the handle, um, I think the whole thing goes for 40, 50 bucks or something like that. Um, n in other words, daily, everyday price as opposed to a sale price. I don't remember right off the top of my head. And plus, plus it's probably changed since the last time because uh, this has been a few years back when I picked up this razor. Matter of fact, the slant was the first one I picked up.
Now they do have another slant version, if you will, and it's uh, the coloration is black, and that's gonna cost you some more. It's made differently, if you will, or different material, I should say. And it's a nice shaver. But this one here will come closer to fitting in most folks' budget, especially when it's on sale. I think the whole razor, in other words, handle a head together on sale, I think it does go for about 40 bucks if it's in stock. And that's at the Icon website, I should say. As goes for the blade itself, this Lord blade, Lord Cool, it is Teflon coated. So when I first started using, giving a Lord Cool a try, that's the reason why I did give it a try was due to the fact that I noticed that it was Teflon coated. And typically, Teflon coated blades work well for me. And this one does. I've got a few hundred of them, in other words. That's how much I like them. Very inexpensive. You can pick them up off of uh, Amazon, get a hundred pack for what, seven, eight bucks? Not expensive at all. And they're made in Egypt, if anybody is wanting to know. <laughs> as far as I know, all Lord blades are made in Egypt, <laughs> in case you didn't know. And they do have quite a few uh, different blades. In other words, different kinds of platinum, uh, super stainless, all that sort of thing. They're, they got several different blades, different names. Some of them, I think, are the, basically the same blade, just different boxes, different packaging. I can't tell the difference between some of them. Some of them I, I can, some of them not so much, but if they're named kind of sort of the same, in other words, something with platinum or something like that, typically I find that they're the same. I don't notice the difference. And it could be that there is, and I just don't notice it. But then again, if it's not noticeable, well, there you go. I can remember uh, when my wife and I, we first got together and um, she was out doing some shopping. While she was gone, I ran the vacuum sweeper. So <laughs> she came home and she wanted to know if I ran the vacuum sweeper. I said, yes, why can't you tell? And she said, no. So it got me thinking, well, if you can't tell, <laughs> it's one of those kind of things going on. It's kind of like with the blades. Well, if you can't tell the difference between one and the other, and you're paying more for one than the other, <laughs> go with the cheaper one. <laughs> you're not going to know, except for your wallet. It's a pretty easy going shaver. I don't find it aggressive. Some people might consider it a medium, maybe. Depending on what blades you use, I think. You know, what's the smoothest blade, or if you're using a more aggressive blade. In other words, those again, screen passes right through there. Feel really smooth. Get just a bit more resistance as usual for when I'm getting closer to the sideburn area get closer to the chin and uh, upper lip area. Just a really nice shave. Like I say, I can use this as a daily shaver, not a problem. Wouldn't have to worry about uh, any kind of irritation, nicks, cuts, weepers. Pretty much automatic pilot, if you will. I've used it off and on over time and it's for me I just pick it up just any day and shave with it and it's nice smooth comfortable shave for me and I do like the satin finish I like chrome I like it I like the shiny <laughs> trust me I really do but this one here I felt like it looked better in the satin finish than it did in a chrome finish I don't know that the head is offered in a chrome finish I think it's only offered in a satin 
or if you want to consider the black one. Uh, now the handle would be a different story. You can get the handle like a chrome looking one or a satin one, and I prefer the satin to go with the, the satin handle to go with the satin head. It looks good that way to me. And once you got a handle that you like, and since they offer a good part of their heads in satin, uh, that handle, one handle, and just buy the heads. That is one thing I like about their 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 setup is that uh, they offer their heads by themselves. You got one handle, don't think you need another one, don't want another one, just buy the heads, and that way you can store them all together in a relatively small container and. Uh, you're good to go. All right. Being Cyrus and Accoutrements Allen Block complete with rubber band this morning. It is getting closer to the rubber band, that's for sure. I'll have to take that rubber band off here pretty soon because it'll start getting in the way. Now, last time I got down to this point when I took the rubber band off, it didn't drop the Allen Block for a long time. So we'll see how well I do with this one here <laughs> if I drop it. <laughs> All right. Humphreys. Unscented. <laughs> but it's got a scent. <laughs> nice smooth shave. My face feels so good. In other words, going through the normal routine... With the grain, across the grain, against the grain, just the, just the normal directions that I normally go. And most, I mean, almost BBS, not quite. I'd have to vary it through here uh, and work at just a little bit underneath the chin area to get it, you know, BBS. But for the most part, this shave will be just fine. This is my kind of shave. Fantastic. No irritation, no stinging. It just... Just a really nice shave. All right, now here's the aftershave. And now mine looks like this on the back side. Yours may look different, but that's the labeling back there. It's a little print, it's printed on a little on the light side, especially with my eyes. Uh, that sort of thing for me is hard to read. But uh, there's a restrictor. Aftershave, same way. Man, it smells good. Like I say, per my nose, this is a very close to a cologne scent. So if they pattern after what cologne, I, I don't remember offhand. But I do have a link down below. Oh, I should mention, from time to time, they do offer them as a set on sale. And I did notice that it was considered to be out of stock on the website. So when you go to look, if you're interested in buying it, I think it's, what, 12 or $13 for the aftershave? Like I say, 20 for the soap. So it's if you're wanting to wait till it goes on sale and bite it as a set you just have to be patient as well as diligent you keep on checking back and looking and waiting for it to come on sale because i think i picked up the soap for 10 bucks when it was on sale it might have been 15 i don't remember right offhand it was a while back but in my opinion this is good stuff right here uh <laughs> really nice scent Great way to start out your Friday, isn't it? Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shades to you.